Now from one kind of photography to another. Next, I'm being joined by Manfred Bauman, celebrity and wildlife photographer who is known for his very distinct black and white photos and ability to capture pure emotion. Welcome to Manfred Bauman. Hi. How are you? Good. Now, I was hoping that you could start by telling us how you got into photography. Tell us about the start of your journey. My journey starts with my grandfather. He was a photographer too. So I got my first camera. It was actually a Praktika 1000 when I was 10. Yeah. So I was walking with him through the mountains from Austria and uh, this was my first experience with a camera. And am I right by saying you were inspired by some other photographers? That's what helped you get into photography as well? Oh yeah, I have a lot of rule models like Helmut Newton, mm. Herb Ritz, uh, or uh, Ansel Adams, or uh, like uh, Yusuf Karsh. Actually, when I was, uh, I think, about 20, I read a, a, a biography about Helmut Newton. That's yeah. why I start yeah, taking yeah. photographs, yeah, professional. Yeah. I'm going to dive a little deeper into that. What was it about that biography that made you think, oh, this is what I want to do? Because I've seen some of his work. The work is amazing. I think photograph is such an, uh, I don't know, it's such a beautiful hobby. I like uh, the way how Helmut Newton was working and Ansel Adams and uh, I like to tell stories with my with my eyes and with my cameras. Yeah. It's uh, it's so I'm privileged that I can uh, yeah that I can see my 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 life two times. I can see yeah. it into the camera and I can see it live too. Yeah, yeah. So how do you prepare to get the best results for your shoots? I would say when I work with celebrities or models then I, re I for me it's really important to to listen and talk with them. Mm. In this time, nobody listens really, so I like <laughs> to, uh, to listen to them, talk with them, warm up. So it's like always a little bit like a family mm. on set. Me and my yeah. wife, we are since 25 years together. She's always on set. She's doing makeup with all the stars and the celebrities. And um, when I come on set first, so we always have 20, 30 minutes warm up mm. so that I can more talk and more. Yeah, so obviously you take a lot of photos of people, but you photograph wildlife as well. So talk to me about the similarities or differences between the <laughs> two. It's completely different mm. uh, <laughs> because the animals, they are not really posing or, or they're not really uh, Can't tell them uh, what to do. waiting or they don't have any star allures or something like that. So they're really <laughs> more cozy. With the wildlife, it comes how it comes. Mm. We, we just come back from Alaska we shoot wild buffaloes. Wow. So we had some days no buffaloes. And then the other days we found a white buffalo and bisons and wow. tiny ones, big ones. So that's a privilege to spend hours and hours waiting for the right moment in yeah. the nature in a lovely area place. So you have to be very, very patient to be a wildlife photographer, <laughs> from what I understand, because like you say, one day you could have a whole host of things to photograph, the next day it's like, hmm, these buffalo turning up today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you, you famously use monochrome for a lot of your photos. You know, this is a fantastic example, it's beautiful pictures. And um, when did you make that decision to do that? Actually, from, from the beginning, I like black and white because yeah. for me it's more timeless. And you know, I like to tell stories with my photographs. In a black and white photo, there is more cinematic in it. Yeah. And it's more that the people have to think about which hair is it, which color is the hair, <laughs> or, uh, you know, which dress is it. That is a really interesting point um, and brings me on to your editing process. Let's talk a bit about that. What kind of process do you use? Talk me through that. I would say... It's a healthy adding on retouching. Health, I call it healthy because uh, it's, I like retouching if nobody sees that's retouched this. I don't like this kind of filters and, and yeah. uh, it's too much adding. And I think uh, it's a technically perfect photo is not a guarantee for a good photograph. So uh, I do, of course, Photoshop. So I, I work with Adobe since I think Adobe is born. I, I could, yeah, yeah. should be like this. So, of course, for me, it's the digital uh, darkroom, I would say, mm. before we shoot on film. Yeah. We had the darkroom and now we have the Photoshop. And, but, yeah, I, I feel like a photographer, so I don't mm. want to sit too much hours in front of a computer. Yeah. And uh, the new versions or the new Adobe since the last years brings me really fast to the results, what I like to do. So that helps a lot. And um, it's... It's just a tool like the camera. I can't, we can't miss it. And over your career, again, what has been your favorite project or projects? I imagine there's probably not just one single project. Well, I would say the favorite project, of course, is my wife, Nelly. And then 
I like I like to mix it a little bit. I get bored when I just shoot uh, beautiful women or just pu- yeah. celebrities. So for me, it's it's uh, the kind of mix makes makes a difference. Mm. So uh, we had project with homeless people. We did a really cool project there in in Austria. We had a project where we uh, photograph uh, people that are over 100 years old, wow. and uh, we had with National Geographic one project in the death row. That was really a, a, a deep project, yeah. and then um, the buffaloes, the wild mustangs. Yeah. That was my first wildlife uh, photo photo shooting. There, there are really many projects, and yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's nice to just work on so many different things that are quite multifaceted, quite different, pulling in different perspectives, different ways of working. It kind of keeps it fresh, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's never get boring. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you're still doing it after all this yeah. time. <laughs> um, and finally, Manfred, what advice would you give to our audience watching? Uh, first of all, I would say just photograph that what you really love. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't like people, it's not really cool you shoot people. So <laughs> that's better you shoot flowers or yeah. animals or this kind of other stuff. And the other thing is, they're not really rules. So feel free. Feel free, have fun and, and find your own inspiration. In yeah, work. some fantastic advice there. Thank you so much for joining us, Manfred. It's been a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Now, what was really interesting for me was that both Manfred and Little Shao made the same point. Have fun and make sure you're capturing something you are passionate about. Great advice. Now for something a little different from photography through to sh-